The interesting thing in the oil, offshore oil, oils, we've got the cheap oil. Saudi Arabia's got its cheap oil, Iran, Iraq, so we've got a lot of cheap oil. And what's being developed outside of those areas is expensive oil. Fracking is expensive. This is expensive oil. Alberta tar sands are very expensive. And, the, and, and so when, when, when a leader like Donald Trump talks about, you know, unleashing the oil, you know, unleashing the fossil fuel industry for the future, I mean, it's, it, it, it doesn't make any sense because o there's so much oil in the world that if they unleash oil, you know, when the price goes up, our frackers turn on their oil, oil dr drill, the supply goes up, price goes down. <laughs> so, and that just, you know, that takes out Alberta. That takes out the expensive oil. And the most expensive oil, of course, is the offshore oil. So um, Bloomberg wrote this very interesting article earlier this year about how many billion dollar oil drilling platforms are mothballed in the Caribbean. And, the, 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 you know, lots of them. So while there are 20, there were at that time 20 new multi-billion-dollar you know, oil platforms coming out of the shipyards, there was 30 or 40 of them mothballed in the Caribbean. And think about that. So um, Shell pulled out of the Arctic last year after investing seven billion dollars because where they were looking was not as productive as what they had hoped. They had a lot of civic pushback in the, on the West Coast. And it was dangerous and, and hard. And so they said, what do we need to do this for? Um, we're not, you know, the, the United States, Trump wants to open up the Atlantic, right, off the coast of Cal Cal Carolina. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. We talked about this earlier. These are red states. You know, he's, he's, he's challenging red state voters on something dearer to them than who they're voting for, right? Which is their coastlines. And South Carolina and North Carolina have been protecting their coastlines for 60 years. It's not going to happen. Georgia's not going to let that happen. People there are not going to let that How do I know that? I, I wrote about a pipeline that was proposed from Savannah, a gasoline pipeline from Savannah to Florida. Holy moly, it didn't get out of the dock. I mean, you know, between the fishermen, the landowners, the Republican lawmakers, whatever Sierra Clubbers exist in, in, in Georgia, not going to happen. The governor, Sonny Perdue, was opposing the pipeline. Didn't happen. They think they're going to drill for oil off the coast of Georgia? Not going to happen. Florida? Not going to happen. So, we're in a, you know, it's one of the, you know, we get to this, you know, as environmental journalists, we worry, you know, we've written about all of the potential threats to, uh, to humanity, the planet, the critters, whatever. One of the great, to me, most satisfying parts of my work over these many, many years is the fact that these, these attitudes, this heartfelt view that there are places that are worth protecting from development is now an, a global, this is a global ethical, moral dimension. This isn't, this isn't something that's you know, tree hugger stuff. This is big deal stuff. And that's been really gratifying to see how it doesn't matter what Donald Trump says on oil off the coast of Carolinas. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen because the people that voted for him aren't going to let it happen.